Hey guys, and welcome to episode one of the PlayStation News here on PlayStationUniversity.com. Now, I am GUI, as you know from the announcements that they made at PlayStationUniversity.com. I'll be bringing you all the latest and the biggest news that happened from the previous week as a video recap in case you missed anything or just want a quick recap of the week's biggest news. I'll be bringing it to you. And uh, to all my fans that were on YouTube, you can now catch me first and foremost on PlayStationUniversity.com and their YouTube channel. Uh, I'll officially be on there first and then onto my YouTube channel, be on there second. So, yeah, let's get started. Into the first news is that Sony has stated that Little Big Planet 2 will no longer feature stereoscopic 3D. It, back a while ago, it was originally announced that it would be having stereoscopic 3D uh, along with like Killzone 3 and everything. And now, for unknown reasons, they pulled it. So, I'm, un I'm not really sure about that. And also, Atari has announced uh, Ghostbusters Sanctum of Slime. Now, this will be a top-down co-op uh, game, uh, game, and it's going to feature online and offline co-op. Unfortunately, Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd are not going to voice in this one. But that's set to release in Spring 2011 uh, for the PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, and PC. It's a downloadable title. Wait and see on that. Also, Gran Turismo 5. Uh, they are releasing some, a patch this month. There's going to be a patch to improve upon stuff people have been wanting and adding stuff. And it's going to get a patch to allow players to back up their saved data to external devices for external hard drives, stuff like that, to back up all your saved data. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a separate patch or the same patch, but they're also stated that they are planning to uh, allow mechanical damage in Gran Turismo 5. Because so far, it's only been uh, bodywork damage. <clears throat> well, now you're going to be getting mechanical damage, making it even more realistic, and you have to be more careful with how aggressive you're actually going to drive. And they also, not on this patch, but for in the future, far from the future, they're actually looking to put YouTube integration into Gran Turismo 5. They did have it for release, but they stated that they pulled it from the release copy because it uh, took too long to render and it was taking up too much memory. So, but they are very interested in putting it back into the game in a future update. Uh, so that way with the replay feature, you can actually have in YouTube integration, be able to show off all your amazing races to your buddies there on YouTube. Also, the Spike VGA Awards, Video Game Awards, will show the first gameplay of Resistance 3. It's definitely something to check out. They have confirmed that. That will be December 11th for the VGA Awards on Spike TV. Make sure you check them out to see the first gameplay of Resistance 3. I'm definitely going to check that out. Very excited to see how that's going to turn out. And also, Guerrilla Games has confirmed two European Killzone 3 Collector's Editions. Now, the first one is the uh, Special Steelbook Collector's Edition, which you're going to get the soundtrack, you're going to get the retro map pack, and a redeemable code for a dynamic X and B theme. Now, the second one is the Hellgast Edition, which is also coming to the U.S. Uh, but on top of, you're going to get everything I just said in the Steelbook Edition, but you also, with the Hellgast Edition, going to get a Hellgast helmet, a hand-painted uh, Hellgast helmet, a 100-page art book, a cloaking marksman figurine, and a whole bunch of other goodies. Just a bunch of stuff. Also, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Vietnam, has gotten a concrete release date, as they are putting it. That will be uh, coming out on PSN December 21st for 15 bucks. Battlefield Bad Company 2 fans out there, make sure you download that. It looks like a hell of a lot of fun. And uh, before Christmas, we, it seems we're going to be getting some awesome stuff to be keeping us busy, you know, besides of all the other games we're getting for Christmas, but some awesome new games yet to be coming out to try out demos before Christmas. As we know right now, Little Big Planet 2 is uh, getting a demo before Christmas, December 22nd. Now, in a recent interview with the executive producer for Dead Space 2, he basically, they because Dead Space 2 is coming out January, and so they asked him, is there a demo coming out before Christmas or after Christmas? And basically he hinted. He wouldn't confirm, but he actually winked, and he had a strong hint that it could be coming out before Christmas. So I would definitely keep you guys updated on that. Uh, but here's hoping, you know, because who wouldn't want to play Dead Space 2? Come on. Also, Dead Nation, if you guys have hopped into this addictive zombie apocalypse game, this uh, shooter, top-down shooter, you notice how addictive it is. If you haven't played online, then you probably don't know yet, but if you have played online, when you're playing co-op, you probably notice there's one major thing missing. Voice chat. 
All right. I mean, what is the key thing when during a zombie apocalypse when you're trying to survive with a buddy? Communication, right? Yeah. So, well, the creators of Dead Nation have confirmed that they are going to bring in voice chat to uh, Dead Nation in a future update. So, no need to worry about that. They are working on it. But also, Deus Ex Human Revolution. The, they have come out with the augmented edition. That will be coming up for 10 extra bucks for $69.99. It's going to have a 40-page art book. It's going to have the motion comic, soundtrack, and a DVD with trailers, storyboards, and the making of video. If you're definitely interested in Deus Ex Human Revolution, you'd be definitely interested in picking up the aug augmented edition for only 10 extra bucks. Definitely worth it. And that's about it. That's it for this week's on the news. Uh, it's pretty interesting news. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, first episode. I look forward to playing more episodes with you. But before I go, I do have a segment I'll be doing at the end of each video. A new segment going to be called the Question of the Week. Something to get you fans involved in to, you know, talk back and forth with, get a conversation going, and uh, be able to hear your guys' opinions on stuff. Of course, you can comment and opinion on anything else I talked about. But the question of the week is basically on the first part of the news I talked about, which is Little Big Planet 2's stereoscopic 3D being pulled. Well, you know, as we all know, 3D TVs are being pushed a lot these days, and a lot of games are trying to go into 3D, and every game that's being made is asked as it coming out as 3D. Well, here's the question. Do you guys really think it's necessary the, this today these days to have stereoscopic 3D because as we know it kills on 3D and stuff you have to dumb down a lot of stuff in order to render both frames and keep the frame right up and everything like that so do you re I mean do you guys think it's a gimmick or do you guys think it's a serious thing like do you guys think gaming will go full 3D someday is it really necessary to have 3D in games I'd like to know your guys opinions on that and have an intelligent conversation about it right no fanboys are arguing or anything like that you know, really speak your opinions. I'd like to see what you guys think about that. And that's about it. All right. So I'd like to thank all you guys for watching, tuning in. <clears throat> you check out, uh, you check me out every week, every Sunday between seven and eight uh, next week for episode two on PlayStationUniversity.com, PlayStation University's YouTube channel, and lastly on my YouTube channel, Googie. So yeah, I'll catch you guys next week, next Sunday. Take it easy. See ya. Peace.